Islam cannot coexist with our constitution in America. I make that argument all the time. And, and, and one of the main reasons Islam cannot coexist with our constitution is the fact that equality does not exist. One of the crimes that is harshly punished in America under our constitution is discrimination or hate crime, right? Now, when we are done with today's segment, you will catch up quickly with one very, very important point, one dominator of Sharia, and that is discrimination. What I mean is, let's start by one of the justice chapter in Reliance of the Traveler, which is retaliation. Now, retaliation uh, is basically a simple eye for an eye. Simply eye for an eye. And the retaliation, <coughs> excuse me, in Islam, uh, the retaliation comes with uh, you kill someone, you be killed. Uh, you blind someone, you be blinded. You injure them in any area in their body, you be injured in the same area of the body. That's retaliation. Now, on Reliance of the Traveler, page 583 goes into more details of who is excluded from retaliation and who is not. So I'm going to go over retaliation first. So we establish retaliation being eye for an eye. Now on, chap uh, on page 583 of Reliance of the Traveler, it says, retaliation is obligatory against anyone who kills a human being purely intentionally and without right. So that's retaliation. Any human, right? It is obligatory. So you, any human kills any human, retaliation is ob obligatory. But then let's go into exceptions. Ready? The following are not subjected to retaliation. This far is human versus human. But here we go. Let's take a look at discrimination. Bear with me. I'm going to do this slowly so we are all on the same page. Number one, first category, who will not face retaliation. A child or an insane person under any circumstances, either Muslim or non-Muslim. So, a child being a woman under age of nine, a man or a boy under age of 14 will never face retaliation. Or an adult who is legally insane. That was the first, no retaliation. The second category, bear with me, and here's the first, second category. A Muslim for killing a non-Muslim. Oh yeah. So the obligatory retaliation under Islam starts by retaliation is obligatory. When any human kills another human, purely intentional. However, if one of those human is a Muslim and the other one is a non-Muslim, retaliation will not be subjected toward the Muslim. Now, there's a third category that will not face retaliation for killing a human. A Jew or a Christian, subject of the Islamic State. Now, explanation. What does a Jew or Christian subject to Islamic State means is if that Jew or a Christian is a dhimmi, meaning that Jew or Christian has, a, uh, has agreed to pay jizya or Islamic tax and become a second-class citizen in an Islamic country. That's what this means. So, it's an Islamic country, there's a Jew or a Christian living under Islamic ruling as a second cl class citizen. That Jew or Christian will not face retaliation for killing an apostate from Islam. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I come last on the least, on the least of retaliation required under Islam. As a person who has left Islam, as an ex-Muslim, a Jew, a Christian, a Muslim can kill me and all three of them will walk free 
on their justice system of Islam.